Okay. Is it going? Yeah, it okay. is. So, I'm just um, making a video. So, I'm here at the FWEA Water Festival, and I am uh, essentially. What is it like called? <laughs> We're at Crane's Roost. This is Crane's Roost. Queen's Roots at Altamont Springs, and we're, we, I, I'm showing people how to test water quality. And we're not doing the turbidity test because this water is pretty clear. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take our lake water, which we collected earlier, and we're going to put it into this container, which is going to gauge. So, we fill about 8 milliliters of water. A little too much. And we take one of these tablets, which has pH, and uh, it comes out of the container. Take it, we drop it in there, and we uh, shake it. Is this is all. Now, because it was kind of a tiny tablet, I should probably take another one because I don't know if it's a full tablet. So, yeah, d d this isn't the proper scientific method, so don't do this like this. So, always make sure you have a proper calibration, but this is just a demonstration. So, you shake it up, and if it's have a more dissolved. <laughs> she doesn't want to properly. And then we take it into a light and we we compare it to what it is. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's about a it's about a seven and a half. And now we look into our this is one. We look into our little case which we took before. You'd probably want to take you'd want probably want to take a fresh sample directly from a lake. And if you see our little marker over there, it says twenty two degrees. It's a really cool little thermometer. So we, we take the degrees Celsius and now we take our tiny little vial and we fill it up with some lake water. And we uh, take these, take these, <laughs> these tablets, which, which test um, dissolved oxygen, and we uh, take two of them from this kit, and then we close this, and this takes a while to shake up, and it, sh it doesn't have to dissolve completely. And you shake it out. An ideal pH range should be from about 6.5 to 8 for um, lakes. Ideal drinking water should probably be around 7 to 8 ish. Alkaline water is it's better than uh, acid, acid water. And um, while I'm shaking this up, I might as well explain what pH is. So pH is a measure of um, how many, it, like there's, it's a logarithmic scale that goes from 0 to 14 and it, it says that um, it's, it's this, so pH of 1 would be um, 10 to the power of negative 1 which is 1 over 10, um, hydrogen plus atom per mole per liter. Hydro like one one to the tenth mole per liter of um, hydrogen atom per um, liter, and uh, a pH of seven has equal amount of of P of H plus as as hydrogen hydrogen atom as hydrogen oxide atom, and um, this is almost completely dissolved. And uh, at a pH of seven is what pure water would be, but. Of course, you can't get that pure for water unless you go to that one neutrino tester there, which is ultra pure water. So it's kind of hard to see, but um, we have a pH, we have a about one parts per million of dissolved oxygen. So we go to our little chart here, and um, 
we found that it's 22 degrees Celsius at about one part for that, so that's about one fourth of that, which is about 11 point, 11 and a half percent for this. So it's about 11 and a half percent of dissolved oxygen, which isn't that good because because a lower oxygen level, especially on a warmer day, induces amoeba production, like amoeba um, growth in lakes. And that's why they say you shouldn't go swimming in the summer because of the, uh, the amount of amoeba in the water, and it'll get up into your nose and affect your brain, and you'll die a horrible death. And that pretty much is our test. And um, you probably want to have it in a more controlled environment. But I'm just doing this experiment, especially like on camera, especially to show um, YouTube the wonderful world of environmental science and to show colleges that I'm actually doing something because they will go and see it. So, anyways, thank you for watching. This is awesome lightning. Goodbye.